Oh my, oh my, what a crazy, chaotic weekend, some might say, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more eSports Talk, CDL Minnesota. I'll say it, probably one of the best weekends, I think the best weekend we have seen since online play and this pandemic did begin, guys. The upsets did continue. Yesterday, we talked about the Huntsman being out for the first time in group stage and not making playoffs after winning an event. And of course, Pristini here, his first show with the team was actually a victory and a title as well. And now this, their first departure in the group stage, that was shocking enough. Then we add on the fact that apparently Empire and FaZe were not the best teams at this event. That being Florida Mutineers, who by the way, a recent add-on, that being Awakening, they have now made two changes and come away with two online titles. And that's just the beginning of what kind of hectic weekend we did see. Our top three teams, you know, I would say Atlanta, FaZe, Empire, Huntsman, in that order, all three fall. The Florida Mutineers now taking their second online title. If you guys remember back to a team that Florida first added ferocities back into the roster even that being said you know right away proving with their first online title which kind of sparked the debate of championships and now adding awakening and i would say a probably a, a more so controversial adding you know a lot of people seeing him as an unproven character out there he showed up greatly this past weekend for the first time competing on this level ever and the last time competing anywhere near this level was nearly a year ago to the date and all of a sudden coming away with his first online championship during Call of Duty League you got to give huge props to a team like Florida now when it comes time for the Huntsman we saw them lose to uh, Florida being one of them but also LAG which was pretty surprising speaking of which though both those series went to map five of the 13 series we saw this past weekend eight of them went to map five and a few of them also were reverse sweeps i would say in my opinion a great great weekend for call of duty and one of the better events we have seen all season long and i know i know it's online but certainly some people might be thinking florida uh, definitely an established top four team now because they take down your other top three teams they beat huntsman in the opening series empire in the semis and of course phase in the finals it's just so crazy where we are and if we do you know actually see a cod champs on land I is there any way to predict this kind of stuff? I would say Toronto was Toronto. To think, though, uh, every other team out there, Minnesota Rocker kind of spelled. They were a bit stagnant heading into the event. They've had a couple of events at least, not really being what we saw early on this season. God Rx being, I would say, a primary factor of that. To add on to that, though, Exceed also replacing Alex with a thumb injury. So those two teams kind of out of it. I would say Seattle saw a pretty good weekend uh, with their performance against FaZe Clan. They were much improved since the last time we saw them. A Along with the likes of LAG probably having their best weekend yet as well and then to come to think of it when you see your top three teams lose and a Florida Mutineers pick up a second title I can't complain too much about it to think this weekend started out with the Seattle and phase drama we covered two days ago and that was just the start of all of that also following that of course Octane's outburst uh, rightfully so and the Seattle surge very upset by that 40 minute tech pause which could have been another team to take down phase not to mention that FaZe nearly lost to Seattle and then nearly lost as well to LAG. LAG was just a swing away from taking down some top teams out there. Was, they, they too seemingly have improved with their roster moves as well. And then the blanket statement all this weekend, just chaos, right? Following the event as well, we had the Seattle surge and the phase drama. We all sweat other teams out there. Crim6 taking to Twitter post-event to complain about spawns. Uh, if you guys have not seen the clip, he thanks Joe Seacott and the COD game itself for still having very, very broken spawns. Push these players back. 25 seconds is plenty of time. Again, the spawns right now for the Mutineers are still sick. Oh no, the spawns are flipped. Look at number four. Pharaoh and Skies. The spawns fairy has arrived and gifted these boys a couple of pennies. That's massive. Crim's got no idea where they are. Now Dallas Empire are going to be scratched. I mean, I hope you guys can understand how tough it can be to make a video on all of this because it's jumbling so many crazy things inside a single video. So in case you guys missed all of it, to start the weekend off, Seattle Surge versus FaZe, they had their 40 minute tech delay, which to a lot of people out there could have costed Surge that series. FaZe can go on to reverse sweep them. COD League, by the way, has now established a 20 minute maximum pause time when it comes time for technical issues because of that instance. Then we have Crim6 taking to Twitter to complain about spawns again. I would say rightfully so. All the teams undergo this same thing. I think Crim6 well understands that, but spawns have been broken all year long 
even casters have openly admitted that on the mic. Then we have one of our first Call of Duty injuries of the entire season, that being with Alex and his thumb. He was replaced on that roster. And then just to, to get it out there one more time, we have Florida with another relatively new add-on, taking their second title since changing the roster a second time and taking down your top three teams in doing so. All within a couple of days in one Call of Duty weekend, guys, we had some crazy news. I hope you guys all enjoy because I'll be breaking down that crazy news all week long. Until next time, what do you guys think? I'm actually sweating in this shirt, which sucks because I had to pay for this shirt because his face wouldn't send me one for free, which is, <laughs> which is fine. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Until next time, drink your water, drink your coffee. I'm going crazy. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Oh.